welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my photography excursion to Patapsco State Park. If you didn't see the first video, I will put a link down in the description and you'll see a link up here at the top of my screen as well. There was just so much that I did and concentrated on the lower part of the waterfall that my video would just be too long if I included everything. And in fact, what I'm going to be shooting today is quite a bit of a different flavor than what you saw in the last video. So I'm going to go ahead and set up again and walk you through my settings and just show you this beautiful area. So again, thank you so much for joining me on this photography vlog. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the compositions in the last video were pretty easy, but I'm having to think a little bit up here as to the compositions that I want to create or capture. Now, there are a variety of things that I can do. Now, one of the things here that is a little bit of a disadvantage from where I shot last week is that there's a deep pool right here in front of these cascades. So that's going to eliminate me being able to get down in front of the waterfall. So I think I'm going to cross over in a little more shallow area here to get to the other side. I think that would be a better vantage point to take some photographs. Now after walking around a little bit for my first shot, I'm over here, I haven't crossed over, but I'm over here to the sort of the far side of this little beach area here. And the rocks sort of curve around like this to where the two falls are. And then I have a view of the cascade that is beyond that. So here's my first composition. You'll notice how I have composed this with this sort of cliff over here to the left leading into the two cascades. I think it's a very pretty composition. Now I already took a photograph at 1.3 seconds and that was I had some blown out highlights so what I'm going to have to do here is decrease that shutter speed. Now I have this little sort of gauge here and you'll notice here that the little lines are to the right which is saying that's too bright. So I'm going to bring it down to 1.16 of a second. And I'm going to go ahead and take the photograph and we'll see if it is overexposed. All right, now if I look again, it looks like I don't have any blinkies in there, so it looks like it is properly exposed. Might be a little bit dark, so I might play around with the exposure a little bit, but I think that's good. I love that photograph and that composition.
right, I have moved across the little stream. Now, please, please, if you are at a waterfall and you're walking on rocks, please be careful. I've got these wading boots on that have these metal studs on the bottom, but that doesn't mean that I can just go flying around on these rocks here. I'll still slip, so please, please be careful. I want to get one more composition, and this one, it's still somewhat of a straight-on photograph, but I've got all of these boulders and such, such here in, in front of me, so I'm going to try to use that as some foreground interest as I shoot the cascades right up here in front. So I'm going to give it a try. Now, one of the things here, just like last week, I'm pretty much using the same shutter speed, but I am bracketing my shots because it is still, even though it's overcast, it is still bright. And if I'm not careful, my sky will be blown out. And then once I take here a couple of photographs here, we're going to move over to the next area that I want to photograph. If you remember last week, those really nice cascades that are that sort of spread out. I really want to photograph that, so I'm going to go there next.